Welcome to a very haunted episode from Rune Our Dark and Hobby. Um, <laughs> just kidding, kind of. We are getting in the spooky mood today um, because it's October now and so we're all getting ready for Halloween. We've got spooky earrings and witch's hat because October brings out the witch in me. Yes, witch, not the other word. But today I've actually got something Disney and something I haven't actually done on this channel. And because I'm an overachiever, I'm not going to do one. I'm going to do four. <laughs> so I might have bitten off more than I can chew with this one, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, it does have to do with this a little bit. I did wear my Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular shirt from back when I was a pass holder a while ago. Not anymore, but that's a whole nother story. But it's not actually Hocus Pocus. Although, by the way, have you guys seen the new Hocus Pocus movie yet? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. I haven't watched it yet, so we'll see. But maybe by the end of this movie. I mean, this video. I have words. They hide. <laughs> anyway, I have the four puzzle set from the Haunted Mansion from the Disney Parks collection. So these are... These are the... If you, if you haven't been to Disney and you haven't been to the Haunted Mansion... Um, now, I'm talking about the one in Florida because that's where I'm at and the one I'm familiar with. Although, I believe the one in California has two. I haven't been yet, but I love Walt and I would love to go see the heritage of that park. But anyway, that and the one in Tokyo. But, I mean, who doesn't want to go to Japan? Anyway, so I have the four-piece puzzle set. These are the um, portraits from the stretching room. So when you first go into the stretching room, they're all, you know, nice and dainty. And then the room starts stretching and you see that all of these people have reached an untimely demise. Whoa. Anyway, um, so the box art is really nice. These, this is matte finish. I've had it for, I've actually had it for a couple of years, but never gotten around to building it. So these are glossy, but the box is matte finish. There are four 500 piece puzzles in this box. So, and there's, it says the actual size of the puzzle piece, which I don't know if they did this on purpose or not, but it does look like the piece is stretched as well. So that'd be kind of cool if that's what it's like. I, I have not actually opened the box. You can see the price that I paid for it. I don't know if I paid that or not. I, like I said, it's been a couple years since I bought it, but it's time. It's the season. Let's go. Let's do this.
Okay, so we finished the four puzzles. This one was definitely the hardest one. I think I started off with the hardest one and then, hi buddy, um, they slowly got easier as I kept going. So this one definitely took the longest because all of the colors were the same and all of that. I do think the quality of the pieces is um mediocre at best i didn't really love the quality of the pieces the only reason they're staying like this now is because i have covered them in a gloss mod podge um which holds them together just fine um and that's after years of using puzzle glues and anything else i have found that depending on the puzzle of course what finish you want either a gloss or a matte mod podge um works just fine and i've only done one side i've only glued the fronts of them so i i think they're cute i mean obviously i have i love the haunted mansion it's one of my favorite rides at disney despite the fact that i don't think i've ever been on it when it didn't break down i'm gonna take the hat off just because it doesn't want to stay on but and of course ending with the alligator girl and of course all of these photos start off about here in the haunted mansion and then slowly then reveal themselves so i'm i love the puzzles i love that i have these i love that i can now put these up for spooky season um i don't think that i will keep these particular ones up year round um i might frame them next year i'm not sure they are an odd size let me look like this uh, the mat board is a measuring device as well so they wound up being right at nine by 27 so it's an odd size it's not like a super common size for these but I do have a place in the hallway that's got some stuff that can be moved temporarily for these to go up in for spooky season and then I will store them flat with the rest of my spooky stuff which I don't have displayed because I've been too lazy to put it up this year but you know say lovey but anyway you're done. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you guys next time. I apologize for the delay in all of the videos. <sighs> it's been a whirlwind. I went to Miami. I came back, got sick. We're pretty sure it was COVID, but mm, I'm not positive. Um, fever's gone now. I just still sound like a frog. But anyway... <laughs> Um, all is better now. We made it through the Hurricane OK. The house is okay. The cars were okay. Our yard looked a mess and we were out of power for five days. Um, so that's why there was no Miniature Monday video this week because I could film it. We didn't have power until uh, late, late, late Sunday night. So, but we're back. We're in full force now. So everything's going back. There will be a Squishmallow Saturday this Saturday. I'm really excited about. And then we will be back with Miniature Monday on Monday. There probably will be a couple of extra videos coming out relatively soon. Um, just because I've got, I got some extra stuff I want to do. I've got a half finished project down here that was supposed to come out last Thursday. Um, but I did want to get the spooky stuff in while it's spooky season. And then, um, also I'm going to be going to some more model conventions this month. So, um, actually I'm going to one this weekend. So, um, for those of you that are going to model Palooza in Kissimmee, I will see you there. Um, but, so I might do an extra video on that one in addition to some of the stuff I'd already had planned. So, other than that, 
I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope if any of you were local to Florida that you made it through the hurricane okay and safe and um, didn't have too much of an issue with power or anything else. I hope you're all happy and healthy and just remember guys, why not you? I'll see you next time. Glad to be back. thing too the glare was very intense I mean it's intense now because I used a gloss mod podge but it was also intense as I was building I can't look very well other than the glare Decoration. Anyway, just thought I'd add that final note in. Love you guys. See you later. Bye!